welcome to our opening. I'm sure many of you have already had the chance to go back to school, look at some of our subjects, and talk with our teachers. My name is Nigel Arms, I've the pleasure of being the head teacher at Hines Park School, and hopefully, for those of you that have been around already, you'll see what a wonderful school it is. From the outset, what I would like to talk with you about is the vision that we have for our students here. Hines Park aspires to develop well disciplined students with good character who fulfill their academic potential. And I'm going to break that down now and explain to you what each of those sentences means. A well disciplined student is a student who learns in a purposeful manner. And that allows our teachers to teach and deliver their lessons without disruption to learning. A child with good character is a child who is courteous and considerate. They are someone who is a good citizen, not just in school, but also before they arrive to school and what they do at the end of the day when they leave the school gates. They are ambitious, they work hard to achieve their goals. And we want to make sure that at the end of their time with us, be it year 11 or be it year 13, our students leave Pines Park having made outstanding progress in their academic qualifications. Now the students who are joining us next September will be coming to the school at an extremely exciting phase of its development. The 30 million school rebuilding programme, which is due to completion in the 26-27 academic year, will give Hines Park School the most modern facilities of all the providers in the front end of our and if you want to find out more about the rebuilding programme, please go into N15 if you've not headed there already, where we will have Richard Palmer, who's our Chief Operations Officer, and members of the design team from the Department of Education, who will be able to answer your questions and give you a walkthrough of what the building will look like. I think it's important that I make you aware that our site is nine acres and 11 buildings. Not all of the site is coming down. For example, our P-Rock, where all our maths lessons take place, will remain. The sports hall is not moving either. The subjects that require specialist equipment, like science and technology, they will be moving, but we are going to retain the existing buildings that they're in. For example, our science block was recently furnished, and they will then move directly into the brand new building. So at no point will the students not have access to the specialist equipment that they need. One of the key people involved in the transition process, the students move from year six to year seven, is our assistant principal, Susie Hickman. I'm now going to pass you over to her. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our amazing school. Um, we absolutely love our school, and I think that will be completely evident as you walk around the place. Our students are phenomenal and they're our best ambassadors. What's not to love about girls? And they've gone now, I wanted to tell you that they wrote that song. They weren't just performing someone else's song, they wrote that. Our children are phenomenal, we're incredibly proud of them. So, you see, transition is scary. It's a big change, isn't it? But you know what's interesting? I've got some of you sitting out there now who are my handwork children. Or my salmon children, or my longshore, my Hartford, my Agency Woods, my Port Wall, my Oak Hills. And all of you don't know each other at the moment. But if you're with us, after about a few weeks, you're going to be recognising each other. And you'll get to know new people. It's one of the most amazing things about transition. So yes, it's scary, but it's brilliant. I have been at Hines Park for 27 years. So there are very ageing, very depressing, but it's fantastic. And there are lots of teachers who have been in this school for a very, very long time, working with children just like you, helping you with those fears. And you know, it's not just you that are worried. Your mums, your dads, your nans, your granddads, everyone is worried about this big change that you're going to go through. But Hans Park have a phenomenal transition programme. So I will come into your schools, and I'll spend time with you in your primary schools before you land with me. And then you get to come in here, you get to spend some time just for a whole school day. You also run a summer school. So there's loads of things to kind of to alleviate those little things you're scared about. But the beauty of transition is that everyone is scared about the same thing. Everyone. And we get through it together. And you'll see from these students that are walking around the school now how brilliant they are. So your guys that are walking around now are year seven students. They've been here five weeks. Five weeks. 
competent, how articulate they are, how capable they are, absolutely shines from them. And that doesn't change for seven years with our students. And um, some of our students you're going to see tonight on stage, and the rest of them are around to be just as magnificent. So I'm really excited to work, hopefully, with loads of you come September. And if you haven't had a proper look around the school yet, then when we finish here, please feel free to tag on to another tour or find some more of our children and our ambassadors who will be able to take you around the school. So thank you very much. And I'm going to hand over to a very special young lady. This is Lena. Now, Lena is in year eight, so she's going to talk to you about what the first year has been like, so what you're going to be going through over the next year. So she's very special and much more interesting. authority application form. We also ask you to complete 
our road and lanes are supplementary information for. This is on our website, but if you want a paper copy, you will be able to collect that from the library this evening. You must adhere to the deadline of Tuesday, the 31st of October. It is vital that you submit your application by this time. I'd now like to talk about my curriculum. It's a seven year journey encompassing key stages three, four, and five. And we pride ourselves on offering a broad and balanced three year key stage three curriculum, which encompasses years seven, eight, and nine. Students will study 17 different subjects, including modern foreign languages, dance, drama, arts, music, design and technology, food and textiles. And I hope the slide behind me shows the breadth of our curriculum. We do not narrow it down. We're not an exam factory. I'll come on to that a bit later. At Key Stage 4, we continue by offering our students a huge range of courses. 23 different subjects. That is the widest range of subjects in any school in Wolfram Forest. By offering such a broad range of GCSEs and level 2 PT qualifications, students are able to choose subjects that they're passionate about and that they are genuinely interested in. Because the adults amongst us are well aware that when we are doing something we love, when we are doing something that we enjoy, is when we are doing our best work. And finally, I come on to Key Stage 5, which is years 12 to 13. We are extremely proud of our post 16 provision. Our results are outstanding and have been outstanding for many, many years. This year, we have the best A level results we've ever attained, and it places us in the top 10% in the country for student progress. And A levels and level 3 B techs are the final step for the vast majority of students who join us in year 7. We offer 28 different level 3 qualifications and that fits in with our ethos of being a truly comprehensive school. Of our year 13 total last year, every single one of them, 100% of them, progressed to the further education, employment or training. The vast majority will go to university, but that isn't the route for everyone and we understand that and we support students whatever it is that they want to do. One of our students progressed onto an apprenticeship with KPMG, the World League and Accountancy firm. We get students into Oxford, Cambridge, onto medicine courses. And that will pass you over to two of our year 13 senior group members who are in the final year of their Minds Park journey. I'll start by handing you over to Anthony. Good evening. Uh, firstly, I would love to tell you all that I'm thrilled to have the privilege of speaking to you all this evening. I'd like to start by introducing myself. My name is Alfie and I'm a senior prefect here at Heinz Park School. Um, I'm in my seventh and final year of being a student and I'll be sitting my A-levels in around seven months' time. But I know it's cliche, but I can honestly say I remember being in the position of you all seven years ago. I knew deep down I wanted to go to Heinz Park School already, despite the fact that none of my friends were planning on joining me here. Although, at first, that was a rather daunting environment to throw myself into, given I always struggled to make new friends. I quickly adjusted, and trust me, on that AstroTurf outside, I made so many friends for life. Currently, I study economics, history, and film. I know that's a strange mix. But it gets weird that at GCSE, I study history, media, French, and drama. I made these choices because I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life going forward, and that was from year seven all the way up until sixth form. However, due to the support of our teachers here, including those of my chosen subjects, or my designated head of year, or form tutor, Heinz Park has set me up perfectly to enter the next step of my life, where I plan to go to university to study management and economics, and hopefully pursue a career in In terms of my life in secondary school, I must admit, this school and what they offer in terms of opportunities and facilities made those years some of the best of my life. I trust all of you in this room, you'll never get through a PE lesson without laughing at least once. 
if I could change anything about my life in school, it would be that I wish I involved myself more in all of the amazing extracurricular activities Times Park offers. I'd do anything now to go back and audition for school play or enroll in the football team. And I'd advise anyone in this room who does plan on coming to Heinz Park to have the confidence to do so next year. Because the teachers here really do push you to pursue your passions and express yourself. And that's especially something I've learned since becoming a senior prefect. In terms of my actual education, I feel as if I genuinely would be in a position to take on a degree in economics if it wasn't for the maths, English, history and economics obviously, teaching I received here at Heinz Park. And that starts from year seven. And not only this, but since being in this school, my confidence has grown exponentially to the point where I'm able to come up here tonight and speak to all of you. The fact that there's a collection of students here just shows that it, it, it just shows how much the school pushes us to enhance our skills and grow into successful young adults. If any of you ch do choose to come to Heinz Park, I can assure you that you will receive a quality education. You'll go home, you'll go home every day with a new fact to tell your family that dinner table. I mean, if I had a pound, for every single time my mother said, oh, that's an interesting fact you learn, I'd be very rich. Um, so, you will learn the qualities and the importance of respect, responsibility and resilience. Applying these skills to my everyday life has allowed me to grow as a person and achieve in terms of my grades, my working life and my own personal hobbies. Most importantly though, you will enjoy yourself here. There's so many fun clubs to join, so much to do at break or lunch, and you'll be surrounded by a team of staff who will build a quality relationship with you and push you to go far. I promise all of you that these words do come from the heart, and I mean it when I say that I wouldn't trade my years at Heinz Park for anything. There was even a period where I lived a 45 minute drive away from this school, and yet I would still make my mum and my stepdad drive me here every day just so I could be with the same friends and be in the same environment. So I hope that pays testament to how much I have enjoyed myself here. So please enjoy your evening here and find out about all the subjects and facilities we have to offer. I cannot thank you all enough for listening to what I've had to say about this school. And I hope you take some of it on board and keep Prime Spark in consideration for next year. Thank you. Resilience. This needs to overcome your challenges. 
Now, year six is, I know it can be scary, starting a new chapter of your life with new experiences and different expectations. But having a little bit of courage goes a long way. And I can assure you that Hines Park School will bring out that brilliant bit of bravery in you. In conclusion, Hines Park School has equipped me with so much and allowed me to grow and transform myself in the past seven years. And I'm so thankful that this school has given me that opportunity. I am honestly looking forward for all of you to experience such a phenomenal journey here at Hines Park too. Thank you very much.